What's up guys, it's Wednesday, and today I'd like to touch base on the godfather of all trace minerals, zinc. Let's begin by backing up and discussing the differences between macro minerals and trace minerals. So macro minerals are your calcium, sodium, potassium, chloride, magnesium. These are the minerals that your body needs in higher doses than the trace minerals, which are things like chromium, selenium, manganese, and today's star, zinc, which I believe is the most critical of all trace minerals. Now, zinc had a moment in the sun a couple of years ago when there was a sudden demand for anything and everything that increased immune function. And in fact, zinc does play a critical role in the production of T cells and other immune cells. However, zinc also plays a big role in blood sugar management, in heart health, neurotransmitter production, and hormone production. It is a cofactor in 300 different reactions in the body. Zinc is a major facilitator for a number of different functions in the body. If you're eating a fairly balanced diet, your risk of zinc deficiency is low. While vegan or vegetarian diets do increase the risk of deficiency, more often when it comes to supplementation, the issue I see is actually over supplementing with zinc. There is such a thing as taking too much zinc on a daily basis. This can leach copper from our systems and can cause its own host of issues. So check the caption below for some dosing guidelines and some forms of zinc to look out for.